Whenever you're ready. You can't live your life for other people. You've got to do what's right for you, even if it hurts some people you love. This quote comes from the famous book, um, The Notebook, and the author of that is Nicholas Sparks, which is who I'm talking about today. Um, his first two books, which have never been published, but after that, The Notebook and all of his other books have been New York Times bestsellers. About 80 million have been copied over the United States and in over 45 languages. Today I will discuss the passion Nicholas Sparks has for writing inspiring literature and giving back to his community through charities and scholarships. Also how he has, become, has come from writing two different books that have never been published to um, many that have been published all over the world. He was born on December 31st in 1965 in Omaha, Nebraska. He is the second child of three, and he was born to Patrick and Jill Sparks. He lived in Minnesota, Los Angeles, and Grand Island, Nebraska, and at the age of eight, he settled in Fair Oaks, California. He went to all these different, um, he lived in all these different places because his dad was finishing up graduate school. Um, he was very intelligent and an active participant in track. He graduated in 1984 and was his class valedictorian. He went on to the University of Notre Dame and they gave him a full track scholarship. And in 1985, he set a school track record that to this day has never been broken. Um, but unfortunately, he was injured with an Achilles tendon injury and he had to sit the summer out and recover. Um, but during that recovery, he was writing, he took up writing and um, he graduated in 1988. Um, after graduating college, he and his wife Nick, or he and his wife Catherine got married. Um, soon after, his mother passed away. Oh, just, his mother passed away in a horseback riding accident at the age of 47, which um, inspired him to write even more because that was just his like comfort level of um, getting over things. Um, he had several different jobs. Um, he at this time had a kid, and so he had to do. He was a waiter, a real estate appraiser, and telemarketer. And um, at this time, he wrote his second book, which was never published. Um, his lifetime turnaround was when he met Billy Mills, which was a friend and an Olympic medalist in books. Um, he sold his business, which he was a pharmaceutical sales member, in 1992. And in 1994, for six months, he began the novel The Notebook. Um, he finished that in 1995 and got it published, and soon after that he got a book deal and a $1, or $1 million movie rights contract. After this, unfortunately, his father was killed in a car accident at the age of 54, which he then wrote his next book, which was Message in a Bottle. He retired from, that, from the sales in 1997 and managed to sell his first new book to a Hollywood studio. It became a movie in 1999, and... With continuous hard work and motivation, he was able to follow all of his dreams of writing and continues to fulfill his dream. Nicholas gave $1.5 <coughs> million scholarships, as well as an internship for the creative writing department to his old university. His oldest son of five, which is, his name is Miles, competes in track, and Nicholas coaches um, his local high school team for four years. He is also a member on the USA Track and Field Foundation Board of Directors. Um, in an interview with John Barnes from the Indianapolis Public Library, Nicholas once said, I never look back. I'm always busy looking forward to where I want to go and things I want to do. Um, Nicholas is probably my favorite author just because growing up, but reading was never like a big deal to me. But like I always wanted to watch the movies, but people always said reading the books are like way better than the book or the movies. So he inspired me to read the books and I really got more out of the books and the movies. That's why it's my favorite.